Man, I cannot believe those five goody two shoes. Lofty, Sienna, Carson, Zihan, and Yi Chen were so wrong to expose Kylie and Ashley when they're doing something good for the group. And especially at the point where the international terrors are at risk of falling apart due to Oliver and Amber being in jail for life without parole. Well, we need to come up with a plan that will help keep the group alive. Yeah, we definitely need to come up with a plan to keep the international terrors alive. Let's take a couple of minutes to think about it. Okay, my dear sisters, I got it. And what would the plan be, Lil Bro? Okay. What if we recruit some random and innocent teens and have them become the next generation of the international terrors? Well, I'm liking the idea. I'm absolutely liking this. This is such an epic idea. And where should we go to get those teens for the next generation of the international terrors? Well, I was thinking we go to West Alyssa Beach and get those teens, specifically those who go to Llewellyn Academy. Llewellyn Academy. The school best known for its foreign language studies. Yup, that's the one. That's the school Kylie and Ashley targeted. They kidnapped and tormented the headmistress, deputy headmaster, and several Asian students and faculty, but they failed thanks to Lofty, Sienna, Carson, Zihan, and Yi Chen. It's a shame that Kylie and Ashley got caught by those five goody two shoes. Anyway, recruiting those Llewellyn Academy teens to form the next generation of the international terrors is a great idea. And those Llewellyn Academy teens are so well behaved, it makes our blood boil. Yeah, we at the International Terrors not only hate foreigners and LGBTQ people, but also well behaved people. Well done, Callum, for coming up with this epic plan. This plan will ensure more chaos for West Alyssa Beach and Llewellyn Academy. Okay, let's tell the other International Terrors about this plan and then find a way to ensure Oliver and Amber know about the plan. This is so brilliant. I'm glad Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are going to recruit the next generation of the international terrors. I couldn't agree with you more Amber, my sweetheart. Since we're in prison, the group is at risk of falling apart. With a new generation of the international terrors, they can carry out our legacy to teach those foreigners, LGBTQ people, and non-troublemakers a lesson. I am so happy that despite the fact that we are both in prison for life without parole, our legacy will continue on. Yeah, the international terrors live on. No one messes with us. Monica, I'm glad that we're having this quiet moment together, without our troublesome kids around. I'm glad too, Gregory. We hope the two-month grounding serves as a wake-up call for Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum. They need to realize that the international terrors aren't a positive influence. They should realize what they're doing with the group affects us a lot because 1. We're getting tired of them causing mayhem around the city and 2. A lot of people have criticized our parenting skills. Mom and Dad, my sisters, and I need to talk to you. Hey Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, what's up? We four are planning to go to West Alyssa Beach this Thursday. Why are you four planning to go there? It's because there's a volunteer opportunity we are going to attend. We'll be volunteering at an animal shelter and the name of it is called Sam and Cat Super Rockin' Meow and Wolf Manor. We're doing this volunteer work not just to help out the community, but also to improve ourselves and stay out of trouble. How long do you expect this volunteer work to last? We'll be volunteering from this Thursday to next Thursday. Well, if it means you four will improve your behaviors, then yes, you can go. But first, promise us that you'll be well behaved and not cause trouble while volunteering at that animal shelter. I promise that I'll be a good girl while I'm at West Alyssa Beach volunteering. Mom and Dad, I promise you that I'll be on my best behavior. This volunteering opportunity is a chance for me to mature and grow out of my troublemaking ways and rest assured, I'll be on my best behavior. I promise that while I'm volunteering at the animal shelter, I'll not cause any trouble. Okay, we are convinced that you four will be well behaved while volunteering at the animal shelter. And you four have your credit cards, so you can take care of your needs during your time at West Alyssa Beach. And don't leave us with a big credit card bill when you come back from your volunteer work. 
Okay, we will spend the money wisely and not give you guys a huge credit card bill. Good. Now you four are free to go do whatever you need to do. Okay, Dad. Come on Kelsey, Summer, and Callum, let's go. Let's hope they meant what they said. I have some hope that they'll stick to their word and improve for the better. So Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, what's so important that you needed to have a video call with us? We're on a mission to recruit Llewellyn Academy teens to become the next generation of the international terrors. And we need your help. You need our help? What do you want us to do? We want you to give us makeovers because we don't want a single soul in the city and at Llewellyn Academy to recognize us. If we went to the city with our current appearances, we could risk getting arrested. Ever since Kylie and Ashley got arrested, the entire city has been keeping an eye out for the international terrors and will arrest anyone in the group that comes to the city. Well, all of us in the group don't want you four to get arrested while completing your mission, so a makeover is definitely needed. Okay, we're willing to give you four makeovers. Awesome. This Thursday, you three will meet us at the abandoned hair salon a few blocks away from the city park. Be there at around 9 a.m. and don't forget to bring beauty supplies. Got it, and we'll make sure our parents, Timothy, Adriana, and Emily don't know about the plan. That's the spirit. Melanie, Summer, Callum, and I will see you three on Thursday. See you four on Thursday. Wow, looks like somebody renovated the abandoned salon and it looks amazing with the new decor. Well, we asked our friend, Della, to use her magic powers to make the abandoned salon look new. I must say, she has done a great job. Now, are you four ready for your makeovers? We are totally ready for our makeovers. Excellent. Come with us and we'll give you your makeovers. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Okay you guys, you may now open your eyes. Wow, I'm so beautiful. I look so pretty. Wow, I'm loving this makeover you guys gave me. Wow, I look handsome. Thank you Andrew, Allison, and Victoria for giving us these amazing makeovers. Now we're confident that no one in the city and the academy will recognize us. You're very welcome. I'm glad you are happy with the makeovers. Now, we came up with the aliases you'll use during your mission. Kelsey, you're Jade West, Melanie, you're Zoe Brooks, Summer, you're Piper Hart, and Callum, you're Freddie Benson. Before you leave for your mission, we'll be making some Llewellyn Academy ID cards for each of you and sending in the enrollment forms to ensure your students at the Academy. I'm so confident that we won't fail our mission. With these makeovers and the aliases, there's no way anyone will recognize us from the international terrors, making it easy for us to complete the mission. Let's not dilly-dally. Let's get the ID cards and enrollment forms sorted, so you can head to West Alyssa Beach to recruit the next generation of the international terrors. So Andrew, Allison, and Victoria, what did you three get up to? Not much, we just went to the community center. Were there any events hosted at the community center? Yeah, they hosted several sporting events, but we weren't interested in them. What a shame that today, the community center didn't have any events you three are interested in. Are we doing anything else today? This afternoon, we'll be going to the grocery store to do our weekly grocery run. Is it possible that we can get those Olipop sodas? Well, after hearing about these Olipop sodas and their benefits, we can give them a try. Awesome. Now you three can go do your own things before we leave for the grocery store. Okay, Mom. Why am I getting this funny feeling they're not telling the truth? Oh honey, probably because we're used to seeing Andrew, Allison, and Victoria causing trouble. Let's at least try to trust them. Okay, if you say so. It's a good thing none of the West Alyssa Beach citizens recognized us. Yeah, and look at how nice this place looks. Sabrina did a great job renovating the place with her magical powers. Okay, my dear siblings, we should be ready for tomorrow. Can you remind us why we left today instead of tomorrow? 
We chose to leave today instead of tomorrow because 1. We want an extra day to prepare ourselves to recruit those future international terrors, and 2. Fridays are dress down days at the academy and we're just too focused on this mission to get the uniforms. Well, I would rather wear our casual outfits instead of some tacky school uniform. I'm not a big fan of uniforms. I'm glad the schools we went to didn't enforce a uniform policy. Oh, yeah, I just realized something. What is it, Melanie? What if our parents called the animal shelter and the employees there tell them that we didn't actually come to the shelter to volunteer? They could suspect that we lied to them and we could get into trouble. Yeah, it would be a disaster if our parents found out we lied to them. And that will mean our mission will be ruined and we'll be forced to go home and be grounded. I'll go give Andrew a call and see what he and his sisters can do. Okay, Callum, you go do that. Well, I hope Andrew is not busy. Yo dude, you busy? Well, my family and I will be heading to the grocery store in half an hour. You sound worried, is everything okay? We are concerned that our parents may call the animal shelter to see how we're doing and the employees there will say that we didn't volunteer at all. Oh yeah, and if that were to happen, your plans to recruit the next generation of the international terrors will be ruined. So, is there any way you and your sisters can help? Don't worry bro, we got you. I'll give you mine, Allison's, and Victoria's phone numbers and you tell your parents that the animal shelter can be reached via those numbers. From there, we'll use a voice changer app and pretend we're employees at the animal shelter. Wow, I love this plan. You're the best, man. No problem, Callum. I'll leave you to get back to the mission with your sisters and remember, Allison, Victoria, and I are a phone call or text away. Okay, talk to you later, Andrew. Talk to you later, Callum. Okay, time to go back inside and tell my sisters. This is why the Beckerman triplets are the best. I'm delighted that they came up with a brilliant plan to ensure our parents don't find out about the mission. Tomorrow, we'll show Llewellyn Academy in West Alyssa Beach that the international terrors will prevail. So everyone at Llewellyn Academy in West Alyssa Beach better watch out, because the international terrors are back. <laughs> So your names are Jade West, Zoe Brooks, Piper Hart, and Freddie Benson. Well, Zoe, Piper, Freddie, and I have been friends for a long time and one of the things we have in common is that our parents named us after their favorite character from their favorite shows. That's interesting. Now, based on the enrollment papers received by the front office, all of you are going to study Spanish, right? That's right, Dr. Hall. Great. Welcome to Llewellyn Academy. I hope you will enjoy your time here. We certainly will. Now, I will leave you four to explore the school before first period begins. Have a great day and happy Friday. Happy Friday to you too. Okay everyone, let's walk around and see which of these students will become members of the next generation of the International Terrors. Hey, these two look perfect to be the leaders of the next generation of the international terrors. Yeah, they look perfect. Hello. You must be the new students. That's right. I'm Jade and these are my friends Zoe, Piper, and Freddie. Nice to meet you Jade, Zoe, Piper, and Freddie. My name is Melissa and this is my friend, Mitch. What languages are you for studying? I'm studying Italian and Melissa is studying Chinese. We four are studying Spanish because it's one of the easiest languages to learn and we plan on visiting Spain in the future. Wow, that's awesome. The four of us are hosting a party after school as a way for us to meet more Llewellyn Academy students and get to know them. Would you two be interested in attending? I don't have plans after school, so yes, I would love to come. I am free after school, so yeah, I'd love to come. Awesome, we look forward to seeing you two at the party. 
I'll need your phone numbers so that during lunch, I'll text you where the party is being held at. No problem. I'll give you mine. I'll give you mine as well. Wow, we did a great job picking the leaders and the members for the new generation of the international terrors. I know for a fact that they'll make us, Oliver, Amber, and the other members of the current generation of the international terrors proud. These people don't suspect a thing and that's great. At midnight, all 20 of them will be drinking a special potion to turn them from well-behaved people into troublemakers, international terror style. Yeah! This potion was nicely made by the amazing witch Hazel and I look forward to turning all 20 of these goody two-shoes into evil troublemakers. Okay, let's go mingle with them. So, how are you all doing? Having fun. We are having so much fun. You guys know how to plan an epic party. This is so fun. You guys know how to plan a party. I agree with my friends, Kaylee and Kylie. You four are awesome for hosting this party. I'm having a blast so far, thanks to you four. I'm so happy to hear you five are having fun. So, anything special happening later? Well, the four of us made a special non-alcoholic drink for all of you to enjoy and we'll give it out when midnight comes. Okay, sounds good. Hey, guys, enjoying yourselves? I'm having a blast, Zoe. I love this party so much because we get to meet more of our classmates. You guys know how to plan and organize a fun party. Well done. I'm having a blast and I'm grateful you for inviting me to it. I am having such a blast. This is one of the best parties ever. I'm very happy to hear you five are having fun. Now, at midnight, Jade, Piper, Freddy, and I have a special treat for you, so be sure to stick around. Oh a special treat? We'll be sure to stick around for that. Wow, this party is amazing. Piper, we're having a blast at this party. Thanks to you, Jade, Zoe, and Freddy for inviting us. I'm glad I'm spending my Friday night at this epic party. I am glad to meet more of my classmates at this fun party. This party is so fun! I'm happy to hear you five are enjoying this party. Be sure to stick around because at midnight, Jade, Zoe, Freddy, and I have a special treat for you. Wow! I can't wait! Hey dudes and dudettes, I see you five are having a blast. This party you four put together is fantastic and I'm having so much fun partying with my friends and classmates. I am so happy I got the opportunity to go to this epic party. You four know how to plan a great party. This party is awesome! Thanks for inviting me. I am glad I'm spending my Friday night partying with you all. I look forward to spending the rest of my Friday night partying with you all. I'm pleased that you are enjoying yourselves. We have a special treat for all of you at midnight, so don't miss it. A special treat? Well, we won't miss that for sure. I'm so glad that the Beckerman triplets sent us those special makeup machines that turned us back to our regular appearances. Now it's time to show our real appearances to those unsuspecting teens. You said it, Callum. Um, guys, is it me or do you feel like something terrible will happen to us soon? Yeah, I kind of have that feeling. Is it me or do you feel like the international terrors are back? Yup, you got that right. What? The hell? It's the Wilson Quartet, Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum. Oh, I'm not Kelsey. I'm Kelly, Kelsey's twin sister. I'm Martha, Melanie's twin sister. I'm Sally, Summer's twin sister. I'm Chris, Callum's twin brother. Oh please. We weren't born yesterday. We know who you are. You can drop the act. 
Okay, fine, you got us. It is us, Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, from the International Terrors. We know why you're here. You want to torment us, right? No, we're not here to torment you. In fact, we're going to be nice to you and give you the special drinks that Jade, Zoe, Piper, and Freddy promised to give you. And we promise you that the drinks have nothing weird in them. So, can you at least try to trust us for once? Fine, let's get this over with. Awesome. Now, come with us and we'll give you the special drinks. Alright everyone, how are you all feeling? All ten of us here are ready for action. Bring it on. And we ten are so ready for this. That's brilliant. Now to start off the initiation of the new generation of the International Terrors, we want to announce that Mitchell and Melissa are going to be the leaders of the group. Me? A leader of the new generation of the International Terrors? What an honor. Cheers, Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum. Nice. Mitch and I get to lead the new generation of the International Terrors. Thanks Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum. No problem, Mitch and Melissa. And Melissa and Mitchell, as leaders of the new generation of the International Terrors, we have special outfits for you to wear. We'll give them to you after the initiation. Cool. I look forward to the new outfit. Awesome. I can't wait to see the new outfit. All right, everyone, it's time to watch a special message from the current leaders of the International Terrors, Oliver and Amber. Greetings to the next generation of the International Terrors. I'm Oliver Cologne, one of the leaders of the current generation of the International Terrors. I'm Amber Griffiths, the other leader of the current generation of the International Terrors. As you can see, we are in prison for life without parole, and since we are stuck in prison, the group is at risk of dissolving. Yeah, and we don't want our group to be gone forever. We will prevail and show the foreigners, LGBTQ people, and those non-troublemakers that no one messes with us. And this is where you guys come in. You will continue our legacy of bringing normality back to the world. So go crazy and cause as much trouble as you like. And Melissa and Mitchell, you've been chosen by the Wilson Quartet to be the leaders of the next generation of the International Terrors, and Oliver and I definitely approve of that. Melissa and Mitchell, I know you will make us and the other international terrors of the current generation proud. Not only will you cause chaos, but you'll need to do us a favor. My stupid parents and Amber's poor excuse of a father are the reasons why our butts are in jail. They truly never loved us at all and only cared about themselves. We want you to kidnap my father and Oliver's parents and torment them as much as you want. And you guys are maybe thinking, what about Oliver's cousin and younger sister? Despite what they did to us, they'll be spared because our parents did much worse things to us. We are so happy that all of you are making up the next generation of the international terrors, and we look forward to seeing what you guys get up to. We'll let you get on with whatever you need to do. This is Oliver, signing off. Peace. This is Amber, signing off. See you. Alright guys, that was our amazing leaders, Oliver and Amber. Now, we want to emphasize the number one rule in the group and that is, no one leaves the group unannounced and exposes the secrets of the group. This number one rule will apply to every generation of the international terrors. If any of you break that rule, your fellow group members and the current generation of the international terrors will make you regret it. Does that sound clear to you guys? All ten of us here heard you loud and clear. The ten of us here heard you and we understand that the number one rule is to never leave the group unannounced and expose the group's secrets. Excellent. Now you heard what Oliver and Amber said. Not only will you cause chaos, but you'll also get revenge on Oliver and Amber's parents. Does anyone have any ideas on how to do that? I was thinking we should give Amber's father and Oliver's parents a bottle of wine that contains a special ingredient that knocks them out. And we can put notes on those wine bottles, saying they are from Yi Chen's parents. After all, Yi Chen is one of the goody two shoes that put Kylie and Ashley in prison, right? Yeah, Yi Chen is one of the five people who wrongly put Kylie and Ashley in prison. Saying the wine bottles are from Yi Chen's parents is a great idea. And after Amber's father and Oliver's parents are knocked out, what are you going to do next? We'll take them to a secret location and force them to take Oliver and Amber back into their families. 
If they don't, they'll be getting a special makeover from us. Yeah, they'll be getting a special makeover, courtesy of the new generation of the international terrors. And Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, you're free to help us out with the makeovers. Wow, this gets better. A makeover for Oliver's parents and Amber's father. Love it. That will teach them a lesson on wrongfully disowning Oliver and Amber. Yeah, Oliver's parents and Amber's father should be getting the award for the worst parents ever. How dare they disown Oliver and Amber for invalid reasons. Well, that's it for the initiation. We four will be your mentors along the way and look forward to this journey. Now, go get some rest and we'll see you tomorrow for some action, international terror style. It's so nice that I get to wear the same outfit Amber wore. This is so cool that I get to wear the same outfit Oliver wore. We gotta show everyone that the international terrors mean business. In other words, we don't fool around. Yeah. After all, no one messes with the international terrors. Okay, so today, all of us in the new generation of the international terrors will cause chaos in the city. Tomorrow, we'll kidnap Oliver's parents and Amber's father and force them to take Oliver and Amber back. If they say no, they'll be getting a special makeover. And on Monday, let's cause chaos at the Academy and get ourselves suspended. Besides, Llewellyn Academy is trash. Oh yeah. These plans will go so well and we have Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum to help us out. Alright, let's go meet up with Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum and our group to discuss the future plans. You said it. Let's go. Oh hello Melissa, Haley, and Kylie, how are you girls? We're good. Melissa, is that a new outfit? Where did you get it? Well, a friend of mine gave it to me. That outfit reminds me of Amber Griffiths one of the leaders of the International Terrors. Yep. By the way, my girls and I are part of the new generation of the International Terrors. I'm one of the leaders and Mitch Bradshaw is the other leader. The new version of us are powerful and we, along with the other members of our gang, will show the world that the International Terrors live on. Indeed. The new generation of the International Terrors will rule the world. Are you kidding me? You girls are part of a new generation of the International Terrors? You should know that gang is bad news. Hey! How dare you talk trash about the group? I am trying to remind you girls that the gang always have bad intentions due to their racist and anti-LGBTQ ideologies. More like you're talking more trash about the group. That's it. Melissa, get Summer over here. Summer, get over here, please. Summer Wilson from the current generation of the International Terrors is here. Oh, give me a break. I heard someone call my name. That's right, Summer. This guy over here is talking trash about the new generation of the international terrors. Oh no, it sounds like you weren't kidding at all. It really is Summer Wilson. You better take back what you said or else. Or else what? Or else I'll beat you up with this baseball bat. I better get out of here. Yeah. Run. You pathetic loser. Yeah. Go cry home to your mommy, you big coward. Ryan is such a scaredy cat. That ought to teach him to talk smack about the current and new generations of the international terrors. You're kidding me, right? Mitch, you and Melissa are leading the new generation of the international terrors? How could you do this to your friends, especially us? Leon, you must be out of your mind to even join the new generation of the international terrors. Mitch, we've been friends since the fifth grade and you've turned into this? What happened to the Mitch that has always been nice to others? Leon, I can't believe you would join that gang. I thought I warned you about the international terrors having bad intentions. Well, the Mitch you knew was such a weak coward and being nice to people doesn't get what you want. I agree with my bro Mitch. You need to accept the fact that being nice to people doesn't get what you want. What Mitch and I are displaying is what a true man should be. We should remind you that the international terrors are a bad influence because of their racist and anti-LGBTQ ideologies. I wish the gang would just cease to exist. They are nothing but trouble. We will not tolerate you two talking smack about the international terrors. Since you talked smack about our gang, 
Be prepared for a special treat. A special treat? You're like that's going to happen. Callum Wilson, get over here right now. These two boys are annoying us. Yeah, these boys are annoying us by talking smack about the international terrors. Yeah, like Callum Wilson will show up. I'm here, Mitch and Leon. I'm glad you're here Callum. Josh and Ryder here are giving us trouble. Oh no, it's Callum Wilson from the current generation of the international terrors. You're right it's me. How dare you two give Mitch and Leon trouble by talking smack about the international terrors, both the current and new generations. Callum, we don't want any trouble. Just please turn them back into their normal personalities. Please turn them back or else, your parents will find out about this. I'm sorry, but you can't reach my parents as they're away at a wellness retreat and they aren't allowed to bring their phones. Callum, let's teach them a lesson. Teach us a lesson? With what? With these spiked bats that Callum has provided for us. What? Spiked bats? Where did you get them? Well, I got these from a special shop. Now, are you two going to take back what you said? No way. The international terrors will always be a bad gang, no matter what. Learn to accept that no one will like the international terrors. All right then, time to get rid of you two. You said it, Callum. You three better leave Josh and my little bro alone. Logan? Just get out of here. You're ruining this moment. If I'm not mistaken, you, Leon, and Callum Wilson from the International Terrors are going to beat up Josh and Ryder with those spiked bats. Yes we are. Now get out of here, unless you want to get beaten up too. Oh no you're not. Just leave Josh and Ryder alone. We will not, so just shut up and let the three of us do our jobs. Unless you three want to end up in juvie, then I suggest you leave Josh and Ryder alone. Now, I'm not going to say this again. Leave. Now. Fine. But this isn't over. All of you will get the punishments you deserve. Logan, we cannot thank you enough for saving us from Callum, Leon, and Mitch. Yeah, thanks Logan, for stopping Callum, Leon, and Mitch from harming us. I'm glad I was able to stop these three boys from harming you. I can't believe Mitch and Leon have betrayed us and became friends with Callum Wilson. They should know better than to become friends with the international terrors. I hope this is temporary and that Mitch and Leon will revert back to their original personalities. I hope so too. All right boys, I'll take you to our house so that you can calm down. Josh, I'll let your parents know that you are at our house. Okay, sounds good. Are you four out of your minds? Why would you be so racist and xenophobic to these twin girls? Well, in case you forgot, the international terrors are here to kick out all the foreigners out of the country. So deal with it. Melanie, I know you manipulated these three teens to become part of the new generation of the international terrors. No I didn't, a witch did. Yeah yeah yeah, a witch did it. Sure. A witch manipulated these three Llewellyn Academy students to become members of the new generation of the international terrors. Sam, please take me and Monica away from Melanie Wilson and those three traitors from Llewellyn Academy. Don't. You. Dare. If you even dare take Angela and Monica away from us, we'll make you regret it. So do us a favor and get out of here. Sam Legal, just go away and no one gets hurt. Angela and Monica. Don't listen to them. They're doing this to scare us. Now come with me and I'll get you to safety. Okay, Sam. Get back here, right now. Oh stop raging like a Karen, Melanie. Oh my god, how dare you talk back to me. When I see you and your sister again, I'll see to it that you girls get deported back to wherever you came from. Shut up Melanie. No one cares. Oh great. It's Kelsey Wilson from the International Terrors. And Kelsey, what are you doing hanging out with Akihiko, Demetrius, and Jesminder? Well, these three are part of the new generation of the International Terrors. It's strange how you said that you're against foreigners, but the new generation of the International Terrors has foreigners in it. Well, all 20 members of the new generation of the International Terrors have been selected by the Wilson Quartet and yes, there are foreigners in it. We decided to include foreigners in the next generation of the international terrors because, well, we wanted to spice things up. 
Kelsey, I can't believe you and your siblings recruit 20 Llewellyn Academy teens to make up the new generation of that gang of yours. You make me sick. Lucy, let's get out of here. I don't want to even look at them. You can run, but you can't hide. Man, those two are such idiots. Okay everyone, let's go see who we can torture. You said it, Akihiko. Well, I'm happy that the Wilson Quartet got the Llewellyn Academy teens needed to form the new generation of the international terrors. Plus, Mom, Dad, Adriana, Timothy, and Emily don't suspect a thing. I'm glad that no one found out. It looks like the Wilson Quartet's parents are calling. Did you activate the voice changer app? I already did. Now, time to answer the call. Sam and Kat Super rocking Nia and Woof Manor. This is Lizzie speaking. Hello, this is Monica Wilson and I'm calling to see how my kids Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are doing with their volunteer work. Mrs. Wilson, your kids are the most amazing volunteers ever. You should be proud to have raised them to be kind-hearted people. And as Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum told me, they'll be volunteering until the coming Thursday. Wow, I'm so happy to hear that my kids are doing a good job volunteering at Sam and Kat's Super Rock and Meow and Wolf Manor and yes, they'll be volunteering until the coming Thursday. By the way, are they on their best behavior? OMG, they're such sweet little angels. No one has complained about their behavior. Great. Okay, I'll let you get back to work. Have a nice day. You have a nice day as well, Mrs. Wilson. Wow, Victoria, that was amazing. And that was a great voice you chose. That voice changer app is amazing. It did a great job changing my voice so that no one will know it's me. Okay, Kelsey and Melanie. Betty and I have finished putting the special ingredient into the wine bottles. And this special ingredient will guarantee that Oliver and Amber's parents will be knocked out. Good job Leon and Betty. You two were quick enough to get the special ingredient and pour it into the wine bottles. I've got the notes here that you will put on the wine bottles. They say they're from Yi Chen's parents, Theo and Haley. Great. This is going to teach Yi Chen a big lesson on putting Kylie and Ashley in jail for no reason at all. Yeah. Not only will Yi Chen be taught a lesson, but also Oliver and Amber's parents. Oh, yeah, this is going to be epic. So, have you decided who will go to drop off the wine bottles, pick up Oliver and Amber's parents after they pass out, and drop them off at a secret location? Well, Betty, Callum Adams, Demetrios, Lena, Haley. Jess Minder, Adeline and I will take care of that. Awesome. And once you've got Oliver and Amber's parents, text us the location and we'll be there to see you torture them. Wow. This wine is delicious. Theo and Haley were so thoughtful to send us this bottle of non-alcoholic wine. Yeah. Theo and Haley are so nice to do that. You know, ever since Oliver is in jail for life with his psycho girlfriend, life has been getting better. Indeed. After all the hell he has put us in the city through, disowning him was the right choice. Oh my god, all of a sudden I feel sleepy. Same here, dear. I feel like sleeping right now. That was easy. This is what these two get for disowning Oliver for no reason at all. I can't believe these two fell for the plan. I'm glad Oliver and Amber came up with the idea for us to get revenge on their parents. Mr. and Mrs. Cologne, you're the worst parents ever because you unfairly disowned Oliver. Now, let's get them to the secret location. Okay. Let's get going before someone spots us. It was nice of Theo and Haley to send me this bottle of non-alcoholic wine. I have to admit, things have gotten better since Amber is both disowned and in jail for life with her psycho boyfriend. Oh oh, I'm feeling sleepy, I think I'm going to. Well, look who's the loser now. 
Mr. Griffiths, if there's one word to describe you, it's pathetic. You had no right to disown Amber because disowning your own kids is illegal. For this, we'll be taking you to a secret location and forcing you to take back Amber. If you don't, we'll be giving you a special makeover. Okay, let's take Mr. Griffiths and meet up with Betty, Callum Adams, Lena, and Dimitrios at the secret location. Wow, my head is spinning. What happened? Wait a minute, this is not my house. Wow, all of a sudden, I hear a familiar voice. Same here, Noya. Hold on. This is not our house. What's going on? You're right, Charlotte. This is not our house. How did we end up here? No, and Charlotte, is that you? Austin, what are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Do you two have any idea where we are? No. Noah and I have no idea where we are. Hopefully, someone will come get us out of here as soon as possible. Well, 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 well. If it isn't the three parents who are in a lot of trouble for what they did to Oliver and Amber. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callan. What are you four doing here and who are those 18s that are beside you? Mr. and Mrs. Cologne and Mr. Griffiths, we're proud to introduce you to these eight teens, who are part of the new generation of the International Terrors. What? The? Hell? A new generation of the International Terrors? Isn't one generation enough? You gotta be kidding me. Shouldn't the International Terrors cease to exist after Oliver and Amber were put in prison for life? This is beyond insane. Why can't the International Terrors just cease to exist? Okay, why did you bring us here? We wanted to teach you a lesson for disowning Oliver and Amber for invalid reasons. Yeah. What you did to Oliver and Amber is so uncalled for. You three should be ashamed of yourselves for doing that to poor Oliver and Amber. Disowning children is illegal in this country. You three should know that by now. Hey. We disowned Oliver for a valid reason. He has committed lots of crimes like beating up William and Aruna for simply leaving a disgusting gang. And I was right to disown Amber because she's simply like her boyfriend, committing crimes here and there. What we did was right. When will you get that in your pea-sized brains? We'll never accept this. You clearly never loved Oliver and Amber at all and only cared about yourselves. You three are so stupid to even disown Oliver and Amber. You either take them back or else. No. We will never take Oliver and Amber back into our families. You all should be mature and accept that. We will not tolerate being tortured. Now set us free. Set us free or else we'll report you to the police for kidnapping. We're not going to say this again. Take Oliver and Amber back into your families or you'll be punished. You better listen to my sister. You better take Oliver and Amber back into your families or else. For the last time, no way. We'll never take Oliver back. Yeah. And ever since Oliver got this aunt, peace was restored. Bringing Oliver back will break that. So like what my wife said, we are not taking Oliver back into our family. I'm sticking with my decision to never take Amber back because of her psychotic behavior. You need to grow up and accept that. And threatening us won't work. It'll just make you guys look as bad and pathetic as Oliver and Amber. You know what, that's it. We have no choice but to punish you. Since you refuse to take Oliver and Amber back into your families, you'll be getting a special makeover from us. No, 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 no. Please. Don't do this. A makeover? Are you serious? What in the world is wrong with you? All 12 of you are so sick to even do that to us. Why don't you just be mature and accept that Oliver and Amber are no longer welcome in our families? Shut up, you pathetic losers. You're getting a makeover, whether you like it or not. So the three of you better stop whining and get used to it. So, we'll untie you three and take you to another room, where you'll have your makeovers. What? The? Hell? Why in the world do I look exactly like Amber? Oh my god. Why did I even agree to this makeover, knowing that I'll end up looking like Amber? Oh my god. 
Why do I look like Oliver? This hairstyle doesn't even fit me. How dare those teens make me and Noah look like Amber and Austin look like Oliver? They will pay for this. Oh, it's not us you should be mad at. It's Theo and Haley Jung you should be mad at. And why should we be mad at them and not you guys? Well, they confessed to setting you three up. They poured a special ingredient into the wine bottles they sent you. That ingredient knocks you out instantly. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. So if I were you, I'd go straight to the Jungs and yell at Theo and Haley. Wow. After all these years of hearing that Theo and Haley are nice people, they turned out to be cold-hearted people. This is such a shame that Theo and Haley would turn out to be evil. Okay, Noah and Charlotte, we'll go over to the Jongs and yell at Theo and Haley for setting us up. Great plan, Austin. That'll teach them for simply setting us up. Yeah. Theo and Haley are in so much trouble. In fact, they should go back to China. However, it's getting late, so we'll do that tomorrow. We want to thank you for telling us that Theo and Haley Zhang are responsible for this fiasco. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Cologne and Mr. Griffiths, before you go home. The rest of us would love to see your makeovers. Oh whatever, let's just get this over with. Wow, the makeovers you guys gave Mr. and Mrs. Cologne and Mr. Griffiths is absolutely fantastic. Mr. and Mrs. Cologne resemble Amber and Mr. Griffiths resembles Oliver. This is genius. That's what these pathetic idiots get for treating Oliver and Amber like trash. Guys, don't forget to take pictures of these losers and send them to Oliver and Amber. I'm sure they'll laugh their heads off because of how pathetic their parents look. Why? Why? Why did we have to suffer this punishment? Guys. Stop. Stop laughing at us. It's not funny. I can't believe this has happened to the three of us and Theo and Haley will definitely be punished for setting us up. So mom and dad, what are we planning to do today? Well, we're going to the department store because your father needs some new clothes. And afterwards, we'll be heading to the Lotus Garden restaurant for some dim sum. That sounds great. Yichen, Ellie, and I are looking forward to today. Whoever just knocked on our door sounded angry. I'll go get it. Please be careful, Aiden. Uh, hello, how may I help you? We need to speak to your manager, now. Yeah. We want to speak to your manager. Get us your manager, or else we are suing. Wait a minute, Mr. and Mrs. Colon and Mr. Griffiths, is that you? Yes. It's us, genius. What happened? Your parents is what happened. They set us up by giving us a bottle of wine with an ingredient that knocks us out. After we got knocked out, a group of teens gave us makeovers to make me and Mrs. Kellen look like Amber and Mr. Griffiths to look like Oliver. As a matter of fact, you and your stupid family need to go back to your country. How dare you come here and infest this country and steal our jobs? Oh my god, now you're acting racist and xenophobic, just like Oliver and Amber. But anyway, I'll go get my parents and they'll talk to you. You... better. Mom and Dad, we have a situation. Well, from the way we heard the commotion, it doesn't sound good. So who was at the door, acting like entitled Karens? Well, it was Mr. and Mrs. Colon and Mr. Griffiths. Mr. and Mrs. Colon look like Amber while Mr. Griffiths looks like Oliver. They're accusing you of setting them up. We better go talk to them. Aiden, you, Yuchin, and Ellie go hang out in the backyard. Okay, Dad. Oh my god. Noah, Charlotte, and Austin, what happened? You tell us, you stupid immigrants. Excuse me. You don't talk to my wife like that. You know better than to be racist to her. And you, don't talk to my wife like that. You two are in so much trouble. What did we even do? Well, you sent us wine bottles containing an ingredient that knocked us out instantly. After we got knocked out, we were kidnapped by a group of teens. The teens forced us to take Oliver and Amber back into our respective families. We refused and as a result, they punished us by giving us make cutters. The teens included Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum Wilson from the current generation of the International Terrors and eight teens who are part of the new generation of the International Terrors. So, what we're trying to say is that you two set us up for disaster. 
We never send you bottles of wine that contained an ingredient that knocks you out instantly. My husband is right. We never did that. Yes. You. Did. Admit it. Listen, we didn't do that. Don't you remember that you should gather all the facts before you make conclusions? Theo and Haley, just accept the fact that you set us up and we can move on from there. Oh my god, just stop accusing us of setting you three up. That. Does. It. Since you repeatedly denied the fact that you set us up, here's what will happen. You have 48 hours for you and your family to pack your things and get out of this country. If the 48 hours have passed and we find that you're still here, then we'll give you the same punishment Oliver and Amber gave William and Aluna, and trust me, it's going to be ugly. Wow, you three are now becoming Oliver and Amber, which is disappointing, seeing that for the years we've known each other, you've acted way better than them. Now, if you don't want to end up in jail just like Oliver and Amber, I suggest you three leave right now. Fine. Remember, you have 48 hours. Haley, I'm just shocked right now. Noah, Charlotte, and Austin, who were way better than Oliver and Amber, became like them. Theo, I'm just as shocked as you. Hopefully, we will have answers as to why they were acting like that. Well, let's go inside and calm ourselves down. It looks like we'll have to go to the department store and the restaurant another time. Instead, we'll go to the Wu family's house and talk to Alvin and Cynthia about what those three did to us. Okay, let's do that. Well, for all the years of being headmistress at Llewellyn Academy, I've never seen such rebellious students like the 20 of you here. The obvious thing is that all of you are not wearing your uniforms. Today's Monday and you're supposed to wear them. You should remember that Fridays are dress down days. Unless the last school day before a scheduled holiday break is not a Friday. Well, news flash. That policy sucks. And that brings us to why we called you 20 here. We've heard what you did last weekend. Oh yeah? What did you find out? Well, you've caused mayhem around the city. Leon and Mitch. You and a member of the current generation of the International Terrace have threatened to hit two students with spot bats. Melissa, Haley, and Kylie, you three were bullying a student just because he spoke the truth about the International Terrors. You know very well bullying can hurt people's feelings. You even left a member of the current generation of the International Terrors threaten him if he doesn't take back what he said about the gang. And a final example I want to share is this. Lena, Trevor, and Kyle, I can't believe you would be racist to a set of twin sisters from Thailand. Yeah, no, being racist is never right. Given that we've learned about the mayhem from last weekend, we'll have to suspend all of you, effective now. The suspension will last until we can find out who or what turned you all into rebellious teens. Hey, you can't suspend us. Suspending students is illegal. I agree with Betty. Suspending students is illegal and for that, we'll call the cops and have you arrested. You know, a new law has passed, making it illegal to suspend students from school. So, if you don't want to end up in jail, then I suggest you take back the suspensions. Excuse me, but we suspended you for a good reason. Just be lucky all of you aren't expelled. Now all of you. Kindly leave my office as I have a lot of phone calls to make. Dr. Hall and Mr. Lewis, you'll regret this. Just wait and see. We'll get revenge on you. I can't wait for this fiasco to be over. Same, Eleanor. Henry Rodney Newman Words can't describe how shocked I am at you, considering your behavior from last weekend. Of all the years I've raised you, I would never expect you to become rebellious, you've been always well behaved. I can't believe you and 19 of your classmates form the new generation of the international terrors, you know that gang always have bad intentions. On top of that, all 20 of you in that group became friends with Kelsey, Melanie, Summer and Callum Wilson from the current generation of the International Terrors. Until I can get to the bottom of this situation and since you've been suspended from the Academy, you sadly will be grounded. Oh, to hell with you, woman. Excuse me, but you don't take that tone with me, I'm your mother. You're 
mother who sucks at being a mother. I bet that's why dad left us. No, that's not why your dad left us. He left us because when I was pregnant with you, he admitted that he wasn't ready to be a father. You're lying. He left us because you sucked at being a mother. I don't have time to argue with you about that. Just please go to your room, right now. Fine, woman. I just don't know what has really caused my sweet son to behave like that. Hopefully, someone will turn him back into his normal self. Jasmindal Amrita Kumar, what is the meaning of this? First, you and 19 of your classmates came together, formed the new generation of the international terrors and caused mayhem around the city. Now, we've been informed that you've been suspended from the academy. I was in a very important meeting at the office until I got a call from the academy's headmistress. Do you have any idea how much disruption this caused? I don't care, mom and dad. Don't you remember that the international terrors have bad intentions due to their racist and anti-LGBTQ tendencies? It's strange how they have these tendencies, yet the new generation of the international terrors has foreigners in it. Do we have to remind you about Aluna Mwangi, who is from Kenya? Aluna is a foreigner who was brainwashed into joining the international terrors and all the members in that group are white. Later, she and her boyfriend William, who was forced to join the group, left the international terrors. Yeah. We've raised you to be kind to people, make friends with people with good intentions, and excel in your studies. Now, we've seen you've changed a lot since last weekend. You've become quite rebellious and became friends with Kelsey, Malani, Summer, and Callum Wilson from the current generation of the international terrors. Well, news flash. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are the greatest people I've met. You can't force me to end my friendships with them. Well, news flash, Jasminder. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are bad influences. If you and the other members in your group keep hanging out with those four, there's a possibility that you'll commit a crime and you'll wind up behind bars. Since you've been suspended from the academy, you, Jasminder Amrita Kumar, are grounded. How long am I grounded for? Until we can find out who or what caused you to behave in such a rebellious manner. Please go to your room, right now. Whatever. Besides, looking at you too makes me angry. Nitya. I hope this mess can get sorted out as soon as possible. I don't know how much of this I can take. I don't know either, Rohan. Let's hope there will be answers as to why our daughter, a star prodigy, all of sudden became a rebellious troublemaker. Angelo Agapito Bautista, may ideya ka ba kung gaano kami kagalit sa'yo? Wala akong pakialam, nanay at tatay. Bakit kayo at labinsyam ng iyong mga kaklase ay magsasama-sama at bubuo ng bagong henerasyon ng international terrors? Nitong nakaraang katapusan ng linggo, ikaw at ang iyong gang ay nagdulot ng kaguluhan sa lungsod. Ngayon, nakatanggap kami ng iyong ama ng tawag mula sa punong guro ng akademya, na nagsasabing nasuspinde ka. Sinabi namin sa iyo na ang international terrors ay isang masamang impluensya, ngunit pinili mong huwag pansinin ang babala. Nanay at tatay, tigilan mo na yan. Itigil ang pagpapatawa sa international terrors. Ngayon dahil nasuspinde ka sa academy, mag-ground ka hanggang sa malaman namin kung ano ang naging dahilan ng iyong pag-uugali. Punta ka na sa kwarto mo. Naiinis ako sa iyo, nanay at tatay. O yung anak namin, paano niya nasabi yun sa amin? Kami ang kanyang mga magulang. Ipagdasal natin na magkaroon ng milagro at magbago siya pabalik sa kanyang orihinal na sarili. Melissa Lydia Carroll, are you kidding me right now? Why on earth would you become one of the leaders of the new generation of the international terrors? You know very well that gang is bad news. Melissa, we already talked about what you and your gang did over the last weekend and today, you got suspended from the academy. I can't believe you. My own younger sister, a leader of an evil gang. 
Well Mom, Dad, and Ingrid, the sweet, kind-hearted Melissa you've known is gone. This is the new me, so deal with it. Don't give us that attitude, little missy. Since you've been suspended, you'll be grounded at the same time. The grounding will last until we can find out what made you into this. Now please, go to your room. To hell with you, Mom, Dad, and Ingrid. Goodbye. Wow. Melissa managed to surprise us again. How dare she said that to us? There better be answers as to why she is acting so rebellious. Yeah. I don't think she would think to become rebellious on her own. Someone or something caused her to be like that. Mitchell Liam Bradshaw, are you out of your bloody mind? You and 19 of your classmates came together and formed the new generation of the international terrors. During last weekend, you and your group, along with Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum Wilson from the current generation of the international terrors, have caused mayhem in the city. And thanks to you and your gang's actions, you've gotten suspended from the academy. Mitch, how could you do this to us? You're my big brother and you're supposed to be a positive role model. Hearing that you're a leader of a gang, I'm so disappointed in you. Mom, Dad, and Abigail, this is none of your bloody business. It is our business since you are our son and we care a lot about you. This kind of behavior concerns us a lot. You do realize that the international terrors are known for their racist and anti-LGBTQ tendencies. I don't care. Besides, you should deal with the fact that the kind Mitch you've known is gone and this is the new me. Well, the Mitch we knew wouldn't threaten to injure two of his friends with spite bats. You mean Josh and Ryder? They're nothing but low-life cowards. We've had it with this attitude. Given that you're suspended from the academy and the mayhem you and your gang caused last weekend, you're grounded until we find out the cause of your rebellious behavior. You can't ground me. Grounding your own kids is illegal in this country. Excuse me, but we grounded you for a valid reason. Now please, go to your room. And have a really long think about how you and your gang's actions have affected many people, especially us and your best friends, Josh and Ryder. Oh whatever, Mom, Dad, and Abigail. I can't believe my own older brother would become like this. Me neither, Abigail. It's such a shame that Mitch has turned into a rebellious teenager. I hope this is temporary and he'll go back to his original personality. Ashton and Martha, Lorena and I are shocked to hear what our sons had to deal with. Why on earth would Mitch, along with two boys, threaten to hit our sons with sparked bats? Not to mention, one of the boys is Leon. Josh's classmate, and the other boy is Callum Wilson from the current generation of the International Terrors. Harry and Lorena, Martha and I are just as shocked as you. We know Mitch is a kind-hearted person, but all of a sudden, he's a rebellious and mean-spirited troublemaker. Ryder told us that Mitch, along with 19 of his classmates, attended a party hosted by four new students named Jade, Zoe, Piper, and Freddie. Maybe that party could be a clue as to why 20 of Josh and Ryder's classmates have transformed into mean-spirited troublemakers. If we can, we should talk to the parents whose kids are in the new generation of the international terrors and see if they can shed some light on this situation. That's a great idea, Harry. I still can't believe Leon and Mitch would team up with Callum Wilson and threaten to beat you two up with spiked bats. I haven't slept well since then. Same, Ryder. However, I am beginning to think something fishy is going on. You're definitely right. Something fishy is going on here. For all we know, Mitch and Leon wouldn't just become friends with Callum Wilson right away. In addition, those two are kind-hearted and they would never change into mean-spirited troublemakers on their own. I told our parents this and Josh, you definitely need to hear this. Mitch and Leon's behaviors changed after they went to this party hosted by Jade, Zoe, Piper, and Freddy. So, you're saying it had to do with the party that Jade, Zoe, Piper, and Freddy hosted last Friday night? Definitely. If my suspicions are correct, Jade, Zoe, Piper, and Freddy are Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum and Disc guys. Well, all I can say is that we should let time tell. Yeah, we'll let time tell. Oh my god. Angela and Monica, I can't believe three people from the Academy and Melanie Wilson from the current generation of the International Terrors were being racist to you. 
I'm glad that Sam Wiggle saved you two from those four people. I've heard that 20 of our classmates have formed the new generation of the international terrors. Monica and I are so livid because three of our classmates have betrayed us by joining that gang and becoming friends with the Wilson Quartet. On top of that, as Sam took us to safety, Melanie had the audacity to threaten to deport us back to Taiwan if she sees us again. Are you serious? What Melanie said to you is completely unacceptable. You know what makes my blood boil? The fact that the new generation of the international terrors has foreigners in it. I remember all the members in the international terrors are white. Aluna, who is from Kenya, is a foreigner who got brainwashed into joining the gang. It's a relief that she and William left the group. We know that the international terrors are against foreigners. Yet, the new generation of the gang has foreigners in it. Lucy, do you have any idea who the foreigners are in the new generation of the international terrors? Well, they're Betty Wayne, Jasminder Kumar, Kenneth Ng, Akihiko Watanabe, and Angelo Bautista. Betty is Chinese, Jasminder is Indian, Kenneth is Singaporean, Akihiko is Japanese, and Angelo is Filipino. Wow, this makes me mad to hear that five foreigners, who are of Asian descent, are in the gang. I hope a miracle will come and that all 20 members of the gang will revert back to their normal personalities. All of us in the Llewellyn Academy community cannot afford to have this chaos continue on. Oh my god Theo and Haley, are you for real? Noah, Charlotte, and Austin came by your house, accused you of setting them up, and threatened to beat you up if you and the fam don't leave the country within the next 48 hours? Unfortunately, all that is true, Cynthia. Wow. For all the years we've known those three, they would act better and nicer than their kids, Oliver and Amber. Now, we just got word that they're acting like them. Haley and I are scared because once 48 hours have passed, they're going to beat us up the same way Oliver and Amber beat up William and Alina. This is unbelievable. Why on earth would Noah, Charlotte, and Austin all of a sudden act like Oliver and Amber? This is really fishy. Maybe someone is plotting revenge on you guys because Yichin, along with Zihan, Carson, Sienna, and Lofty, stopped Kylie and Ashley's storm of terror. It does sound like someone manipulated Noah, Charlotte, and Austin to become racist and xenophobic toward you and your family. Come to think of it, you might be right, Alvin and Cynthia. It's possible someone manipulated Noah, Charlotte, and Austin as revenge for what Yichin did to Kylie and Ashley. Yeah. I know they wouldn't all of a sudden become racist and xenophobic on their own. Someone must have done this. Oh, and since our family got targeted, there's a possibility you guys will be next. Oh no, you're right because Zihan is another hero who stopped Kylie and Ashley from harming the academy's leaders and the Asian students and faculty. We better get to the bottom of this right away because this is getting out of hand and we don't want to lose you. Wow, I have no words to describe what you and Aiden told me. I'm so scared for my life. I don't know what to do. What Mr. and Mrs. Colon and Mr. Griffith said to our parents was so out of line and now we're in danger. I don't want to lose you, Yi Chen. You're the best boyfriend I could ever ask for. Zihan, you're the best girlfriend I could ever ask for. I am sensing that the international terrors have something to do with Mr. and Mrs. Colon and Mr. Griffiths becoming racist and xenophobic. You might be right Aiden, but we'll let time tell. Ellie, Luna, Cyrus, Elliot, and I are so sorry to hear what happened. I can't believe that Mr. and Mrs. Colon and Mr. Griffiths would even say such racist and xenophobic remarks to your parents and put you and your family in danger. Those three are such big beanies to say mean things to your parents. I agree with Elliot. Mr. and Mrs. Colon and Mr. Griffiths should know better than to say those mean things to your parents. Thanks guys. I just hope we can find out why Mr. and Mrs. Colon and Mr. Griffiths behaved in a manner that frightened me and my family. I suspect whoever is manipulating Mr. and Mrs. Colon and Mr. Griffiths must be plotting revenge on your brother Yi Chen, my sister Zihan, Carson, Sienna, and Lofty. Probably they hate how Yi Chen, Zihan, Carson, Sienna, and Lofty stopped Kylie and Ashley's wave of terror. Maybe it's the international terrors who are behind this. Well, Luna, it definitely could be the international terrors who are behind this. We'll see what happens. Well, Aunt Charlotte, Noah, and Austin, we worked our magic and you three are back in your original appearances. Thank you, Olivia and Amelia, for taking the time to change us back to our original appearances. No problem. 
It's a relief because seeing you two as Amber and Mr. Griffiths as Oliver gave me nightmares. Well, you can thank the HN, Aiden and Ellie's mother and father because they're the ones who set us up. Oh, this again? You know that Mr. and Mrs. Jang would never have intentions to set you up for disaster. Yeah. Don't you remember that you should always gather the facts before you jump to conclusions? Besides, do you have any proof that they did it? Just accept the fact that Mr. and Mrs. Jong are bad people. And remember, you two and William are not allowed to interact with the Zangs. I feel like the international terrorists are behind this. They probably gave the wine bottles to my aunt, Noah, and Austin and framed Mr. and Mrs. Jang for it. Well, looks like we need to find some clues and prove to Mom, Dad, and Mr. Griffiths that Yi Chen, Aiden, and Ellie's mother and father are innocent. If you say that Mr. and Mrs. Zhang are innocent one more time, then you two and William will be grounded. Well, despite returning them back to their original appearances, they still think Mr. and Mrs. Zhang set them up. And grounding us just for saying that Mr. and Mrs. Zhang are innocent. Seriously. Also, why ground William when he's not involved in this matter? Come on, Amelia. Let's get out of here before things get more disastrous. You said it, Olivia. Walking away from us, hut. That's it. You two and William are grounded. But Noah, you can't do this. We've done nothing at all. We only said that Mr. and Mrs. Jang are innocent, yet you three took offense. And grounding William for no reason at all. This isn't you at all, Dad. I don't care. What are you two still doing here? Go to your rooms, now. And be sure to tell William he's grounded. Aunt Charlotte, Noah, and Austin, before we go, we'll say this. The truth will always come out at the end. Once we find out Mr. and Mrs. Zhang are innocent, you'll regret scolding us for speaking the truth and for being racist and xenophobic to Mr. and Mrs. Zhang. Now we're off. Again, the truth will come out at the end. Just wait and see. Well done, Noah and Charlotte, for grounding Olivia, Amelia, and William. Olivia and Amelia deserved it for arguing with us about Theo and Haley's innocence and William deserved it for, well, being William. I'm glad we did that. What? Mom and Dad grounded all of us? You two for saying that Yi Chen, Aiden, and Ellie's parents are innocent and me for no reason at all? It's hard to believe, but it's true. Aunt Charlotte, Noah, and Austin haven't been acting like themselves since the day they got kidnapped and given makeovers to look like Oliver and Amber. Despite Olivia and I giving makeovers to revert them back to their original appearances, they still say that Mr. and Mrs. Zhang are the ones who set them up. It's so unbelievable how Mom, Dad, and Mr. Griffiths are behaving in a manner that frightens us. Someone is behind all this. My guess would be the international terrors. Amelia and I also suspect that the international terrors are behind this. Oh and another thing, Aunt Charlotte and Noah have banned us from interacting with the Zhangs. It's not fair. Why do we have to pay a price just because they are mad at Mr. and Mrs. Zhang? I know, right? Until Mom, Dad, and Mr. Griffiths return to their original personalities, we'll keep our distance from them. That's a great idea, William. I don't want to even deal with those three, knowing I'll get into another ugly argument with them. Same. I hate getting dragged into arguments. Why? Why did this have to happen? Melissa, my own younger sister, has become a troublemaker. Not only that, but she and her friend, Mitch, are leaders of a gang. A. Gang. What's worse is that they lead the new generation of the international terrors. Wow, it's a nice day to be out here, enjoying the fresh air. Oh dear. That poor woman over there is crying. Let's ask her if she's okay. Pardon us, but are you okay? I'm not okay. It's because my younger sister and 19 of her classmates have joined forces and became the new generation of the international terrors. What? A new generation of the international terrors? I thought that gang would be done for after Oliver and Amber have gone to jail. Yeah! But sadly, I heard that four members of the current generation of the international terrors have manipulated my sister and her classmates to form the new generation. Do you have any idea who those four members are? Well, they are the Wilson Quartet, Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum. So you're telling us that Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, 
and Callum have manipulated your sister and her classmates to become as evil as the current international terrors? That's right. I don't know what to do at this point. Okay guys, I have an idea. Why don't the five of us group up to stop Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum? That's a great idea Peggy. At the same time, we'll turn all 20 members of the new generation of the international terrors back to their normal personalities. That's a great idea guys. I love it. By the way, my name is Ingrid. What's yours? Nice to meet you Ingrid. I'm Peter. I'm Peggy. I'm Joy. I'm Jane. It's nice to meet you Peter, Peggy, Joy, and Jane. Now, it seems like five of us will not be enough to defeat Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Calum. We will need more support. How about we recruit the teens who had a previous encounter with the Wilson Quartet? Great idea. For that, we'll need to call Lofty the Rapper Offline Guy 2000 and ask him who had a previous encounter with the Wilson Quartet. Once we know who, Lofty will contact their parents and set up a meeting with us. The meeting is to ensure them that their kids will be safe with us. This is great. Now, let's get this plan into action. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Williams and Mr. and Mrs. Wang, for agreeing to meet with us. I'm Ingrid and this is Peter, Peggy, Joy, and Jane. It's great to meet you five. So based on what Lofty told us, you are on a mission to interrogate Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum Wilson for simply recruiting 20 Llewellyn Academy teens to form the new generation of the International Terrors and Ingrid. Your younger sister is one of them. That's right, Mr. Williams. And you need Alice and Mr. and Mrs. Huang's foster children to assist you in this mission. That's right, Mrs. Williams. Since Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and Alda had a previous encounter with the Wilson Quartet, it would be great if they can help us deal with the Quartet. You are right that Baraka and Alda had a previous encounter with the Wilson Quartet and it was terrifying. Not only did they hit them with spike bats, but Kelsey and Melanie had the audacity to shout racial slurs at them. Yes, Connor and Rachel had a previous encounter with the Wilson Quartet. It was scary because they were extremely xenophobic to them due to the fact they are from Ireland. Like Baraka and Alda, the quartet hit them with spiked bats. I just wish that the international terrors would just disband and change for the better. Seeing that Oliver and Amber are in jail for life, there's a good chance the gang will finally dissolve. And hearing that a new generation of the international terrorists has formed is just crazy. Isn't one generation of that gang enough? All of us want the international terrorists to cease to exist and that forming a new generation of the gang is just insane. That's why we're doing this mission. Rest assured, while Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and Alda are with us, we'll be keeping an eye on them to ensure they're well and safe. For missions like this, everyone's safety is our top priority. Your foster children will be safe under our supervision. Seeing that you five will definitely take care of Baraka and Alda during the mission, they can go with you. We are convinced that you five will look after Connor and Rachel during the mission, so they can go with you. Great. Now, tomorrow at around 10 a.m., we'll be leaving for West Alisa Beach to go deal with the Wilson Quartet and turn the 20 Llewellyn Academy teens back to normal. Be sure to tell Baraka, Alda, Connor, and Rachel all about the mission. Okay, we'll tell Baraka and Alda about the mission. Theodore and I will tell Connor and Rachel all about the mission. Excellent. We look forward to your foster children helping us with this important mission. Theodore, Islo, Jaden, and I want to thank you for meeting with us about this important mission and we wish you good luck as you stop the Wilson Quartet and turn those 20 teens back to normal. I've been having so much fun being one of the leaders of the new generation of the international terrors. And being the other leader of the gang has been a blast for me too. It's fun to see everyone in the city, including the Llewellyn Academy community, get tortured by us. Mitch and Melissa, we're so happy to hear that you two love being the leaders of the new generation of the international terrors. Oh yeah, Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, 
and Callum, is it true that you'll be leaving our city this Thursday? Well, to be honest, yeah, all four of us will be heading back to Vian City this Thursday. Yeah, but not to worry, we'll stay in touch as your gang continues to cause mayhem in your city. So tomorrow, we shall give the Llewellyn Academy community the ultimate nightmare. That's a great idea. Mitch and I have an idea of what we should do. Do tell us. I was thinking that we should kidnap a lot of students, the headmistress and deputy headmaster and hit them with spiked bats. Great idea, Mitch. For that, we'll take those people into our dungeon, tie them in chairs, and beat them up with the spiked bats. That is perfect. Beating up those people with spiked bats is brilliant. I remember how the four of us used spiked bats to beat up Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and Alda. Man that was one of the best feelings ever. And Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and Alda deserved all that for simply being from different countries. Now, we'll shall continue planning for tomorrow's ultimate nightmare. Alright everyone, let's get to work. Wow, this is insane. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum have manipulated 20 Llewellyn Academy teens to form the new generation of the international terrors. And Ingrid, we're so sorry to hear that your sister is one of the teens who became part of that gang. We are so glad you five recruited us to help you stop Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum and turn those 20 teens back to normal. Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and I will do our very best to stop the Wilson Quartet and save the teens from them. Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and all day, we're happy to hear your enthusiasm. By the way, your foster parents told us about how horrible your encounter was with the Wilson Quartet. It was indeed horrible. The Wilson Quartet assaulted us just because Connor and I are from Ireland and that Baraka and Alder are from Tanzania. In addition, Kelsey and Melanie had the audacity to say ratio slurs to me and Alda. After all that, the Wilson Quartet proceeded to hit us with spiked bats and told us to go back to wherever we came from. The Wilson Quartet, like all the members in the International Terrors, are racist, xenophobic, and anti-LGBTQ. Ingrid, Peter, Peggy, Joy, and I are so sorry that you had to go through all that. Now, are you four ready to take on this mission? I'm so ready, Ingrid, Peter, Peggy, Joy, and Jane. I'm ready to save those teens from Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum. I'm totally ready to show Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum that the international terrors will never win at anything. Let's show Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum who's boss. Excellent. Now, let's get a move on before it's too late. Now that we're here, the five of us are going to share with you on how we're going to deal with the Wilson Quartet and turn all 20 of the well and Academy teens back to normal. Now to be clear, does Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum have the tendency to lie? Oh yes, they, like all the other international terrors, tend to lie to people, especially to their parents. Well, that's no surprise. Yeah, knowing that. They'll definitely lie about not manipulating the 20 teens to form the new generation of the international terrors. Here's how we'll address that. We'll go to a special potion shop and buy some truth serum. Afterwards, we'll go buy some donuts, pour some truth serum onto them, and give them to the Wilson Quartet. From there, they'll confess everything they did. That truth serum idea is brilliant. Now, what about the 20 teens who are part of the new generation of the international terrors? At the same shop where we'll get the truth serum, we'll get a potion that will change all 20 teens back to normal. We'll then get a box of cupcakes, pour some of that potion onto them, and then give the cupcakes to the teens. From there, they'll be back to their normal selves. Wow, you guys are the best for coming up with these ideas. This will guarantee that the Wilson Quartet will tell the truth on everything and the 20 teens will be back to their original selves. So, let's go get the supplies and find out where the Wilson Quartet and the 20 teens are. You said it all day. All right everyone, let's go. Oh yeah. I feel so fired up. Today's the day we'll give the Llewellyn Academy community the ultimate nightmare. 
We're going to teach the Llewellyn Academy community that the international terrors will rule the world. Nice. So, have you got the victims? Yep. Our gang has them all tied up. Great. Now that we have all the victims tied up, let's go get the spiked bats and start the ultimate nightmare. Yeah. Let's do this. Well, it looks like the Wilson Quartet and the Twenty Teens are somewhere here. And how do you know they are around here? While Melissa wasn't looking, I put a tiny tracking chip into her wallet. I have a map that tracks the chip and it pointed us to this location. Well Ingrid, you sly thing. What Ingrid has done was brilliant. That way, we don't have to spend hours, wandering around the city to find the Wilson Quartet and those 20 teens. Yeah, and also, we can surprise them and see their shocked looks on their faces. I need to say this. Last night, I overheard Melissa, her gang, and the Wilson Quartet were talking about giving the Llewellyn Academy community the ultimate nightmare. And when will that take place? It's taking place today. Right now, I think the Wilson Quartet and Melissa's gang are starting the nightmare. Well, let's not waste any more time. We have a group of teens to save and four members of the current generation of the international terrors that need to be stopped. You said it, Joy. Okay everyone, let's go. I love this. Torturing people is one of the things the international terrors does best. You said it, Callum. It's fun to see the members of my gang bully and torture those low-life cowards. I can't believe I've been dragged into this nightmare. Leon. Just please snap out of this behavior. You're scaring all of us. This is the new me, so deal with it like a real man. The Leon I know wouldn't plot some scheme to hurt his friends and classmates. Leon, I still remember how you, Mitch, and Callum Wilson teamed up and threatened to strike me and Josh with spike bats. Now, you are really going to hit us with a spike bat. Honestly, I never liked you guys at all. This gives me a great reason to hurt you. Someone will come and save you from this curse that the Wilson Quartet put on you. Well, newsflash, they're not coming. In fact, no one is coming to rescue you. Akihiko, Betty, and Kenneth, are you three out of your minds? You three have gone nuts. Why would you even become part of the new generation of the international terrors? Just set us free and we can forget this whole thing. Well, tough luck, Miranda, Hyunwoo, and Ejun. Since Kylie and Ashley failed to torture you Asians, Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum decided that we three should take care of the Asians. Well, wow, this is ironic considering you three are Asians too. Don't you three remember that all six of us here were victims of Kylie and Ashley's attack? We were mad at them first. But later, we realized what Kylie and Ashley did was right along and Yi Chen, Zihan, Carson, Sienna and Lofty were wrong to stop them. I got word that Yi Chen's parents are in a lot of trouble and today, they'll get beat up by Mr. and Mrs. Cologne and Mr. Griffiths, Oliver and Amber Style. Wow, so not only are you guys plotting to give the Llewellyn Academy community the ultimate nightmare, but you manipulated Mr. and Mrs. Cologne and Mr. Griffiths to believe Yi Chen's parents set them up. You guys are sick. You're correct, Miss Genius. After Yi Chen and his family are done, We'll have them do the same to Zihon, Kassan, Sienna, and Lofty. After all, they ruined Kylie and Ashley's plan to torture the Academy's headmistress, deputy headmaster, and the Asian students and faculty. Are you even listening to yourselves? You clearly have been manipulated by Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum to become part of the new generation of the international terrors. We don't care. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are the greatest friends ever in one of these days, one of them should be president of the country. Yeah. If one of them becomes president, a new law should be made, which is to not allow any foreigners into the country and kick out all the foreigners. Don't worry guys. We'll be saved, all 20 of our classmates will turn back to normal, and the Wilson Quartet will be arrested. All right Dr. Hall and Mr. Lewis, time to meet your demise. Siobhan and I can't wait to beat you guys up with these spike bats. Kylie and Ashley were supposed to do that with baseball bats, but thanks to Yi Chen, Zihan, Carson, Sienna, and Lofty, they failed to do it. If you even think about hitting us with these bats, 
Then you'll be expelled from the academy. You girls need to wake up and smell the coffee. The Wilson Quartet have manipulated all 20 of you to form the new generation of the International Terrors. We don't care. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are the best people in the world. So you better stop talking smack about Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum. Look at all those losers, begging your gang to not hurt them. We're all fired up and ready to beat them up with our spiked bats. If anyone comes to stop us from giving the Llewellyn Academy community the ultimate nightmare, then they might as well get beat up. I'm so ready to beat these losers up. Alright everyone. Get your spiked bats ready. It's time for the ultimate nightmare. Let's give those people the lesson they deserve and show them that the international terrors rule the world. I'm sorry, but it's game over for you guys. Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and Alda, what in the world are you doing here and who are these five people behind you? You must be the Wilson Quartet. I'm in and this is Peter, Peggy, Joy, and Jane. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, you should be ashamed of yourselves for manipulating 20 Llewellyn Academy teens to form the new generation of the International Terrors. Not to mention, my sister, Melissa, is one of the teens you guys manipulated. Ingrid, how dare you and your crew come here and ruin the ultimate nightmare? All nine of you will suffer punishments after we deal with the Llewellyn Academy losers. And by the way, Rachel, it's not game over for us. It'll be game over for all nine of you if you don't get out of here this instant. No! There's no way you're going to hurt all nine of us. We're not leaving until you four stop this fiasco and turn these 20 Llewellyn Academy teens back to normal. We never manipulated these 20 teens to form the new generation of the international terrors. A witch did it, so yell at her instead of us. Well guys, we got the signal. Time to go to the next phase of the plan. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, we have something important to tell you. Can you spare us some time? We promise that it won't take too much of your time. Absolutely not. Now stop stalling us. Either all of you get out of here or get beaten up. We got donuts. And we got cupcakes. Oh, you got treats for us? Are they for all of us? The donuts are for the Wilson Quartet and the cupcakes are for the 20 members of the new generation of the International Terrors. So Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, please go with Ingrid, Peter, Peggy, Joy, and Jane to get your donuts. Everyone in the new generation of the International Terrors, follow me, Connor, Baraka, and Alder to get your cupcakes. Well Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, I hope you enjoyed your donuts. All of us definitely enjoyed the donuts. It's so rare that people are nice to us. Why are you being nice to us? Isn't it better to be nice than not? You do make a valid point there. I know you want to get back to whatever you're doing, but there's this one thing we want from you. And what is it that you want from us? We want to know everything about your plan and why you did it. Okay, we came up with this plan after Oliver and Amber are in prison for life. Due to the fact they're both in prison, the international terrors are at risk of falling apart. Since the gang is at risk of falling apart, I came up with this idea to recruit 20 Llewellyn Academy teens to form the new generation of the international terrors. Here's how the plan worked out. First, we told our parents that we were going to volunteer at an animal shelter for one week. Next, we recruited the Beckerman triplets to give us makeovers so that we can go to the city without being recognized. The Beckerman triplets gave us the makeovers on Thursday, the same day we left for West Alyssa Beach. Now Friday was the day we started to put our plan into action. We went to the academy, invited 20 teens to a party, gave them a special drink at midnight that turned them into international terror-style troublemakers, and did an initiation to have them become the new generation of the international terrors. On Saturday, we and the new gang caused mayhem around the city. We were so proud and glad that the special drink we gave the new gang members worked. On Sunday, we and the new generation of the international terrors kidnapped Oliver and Amber's parents and gave them makeovers as revenge for them disowning Oliver and Amber for invalid reasons. 
Afterwards, we manipulated them to think Yichen's parents set them up. That went so well they wanted to beat up Yichen's parents the same way Oliver and Amber beat up William and Aluna for leaving the international terrors. On Monday, all 20 members of the new generation of the international terrors were suspended from the academy, so that meant more time to plan more mayhem around the city. On Tuesday, Melissa, Mitch, and all four of us planned what we're doing today, the ultimate nightmare. The ultimate nightmare is a way to teach the Llewellyn Academy community on being so well-behaved and promoting foreign language studies. What we and the new generation of the international terrors planned to do in the ultimate nightmare was to bully and beat up the Llewellyn Academy students, headmistress, and deputy headmaster with spiked bats. I know that's a lot to say, but long story short, we did all this just to get revenge on the Llewellyn Academy community, Oliver and Amber's parents and the five heroes who stopped Kylie and Ashley's storm of terror. Oh, and before I forget, the revenge on Oliver and Amber's parents was a request from Oliver and Amber themselves. Hey, we're not supposed to tell you our plan, what's going on here? Well, we poured some truth serum onto the donuts. We got this idea from an episode of the Disney sitcom and farm and from an episode of the iCarly revival. The truth serum makes you speak the truth, whether you want to or not. In addition, I've been recording the whole time. We have proof of you for confessing to this chaos. Well done Peggy, for recording the Wilson Quartet's confession. We thank you for making us confess to everything we've done. Hey, it happened again. It's safe to say that it's completely game over for you four. I agree with my sister. It's game over for you four, so deal with it. We hope this experience teaches you that the international terrors will never win at anything. Speaking of which, the police are here. We called them just before we gave you four the donuts. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, come with us and claim your one-way ticket to Juvie. How dare you do this to us? Mark my words, you'll live to regret the day you messed with us. All of you had your cupcakes and we already told you about the dangers of interacting with the international terrors. Melissa and Mitch, once you get home, go change your outfits as seeing you in those outfits remind us of Oliver and Amber. We know that all of you are kind-hearted and non-troublemakers and that Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are the ones who manipulated you guys to become troublemakers, international terror style. Please be careful when you interact with others because not everyone has good intentions. Now that we've said everything we wanted to say, do you have anything to say to us? Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and Alda, we want to thank you for changing all 20 of us back to normal. I don't even understand why the Wilson Quartet would do such a thing. And moving forward, we'll be careful with who we interact with. We hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive all of us. We can see that you are truly sorry for the mayhem you caused while under the spell the Wilson Quartet put on you and you seem sincere, so we are willing to forgive you. Now we will take you outside and get you reunited with your families. We'll be sure to tell your families everything that has happened. What? The? Hell? Our kids manipulated 20 teens to form the new generation of the international terrors and have them cause mayhem in your city with them? Thank you for letting me know, Officer Anderson. My wife and I will head to the juvenile detention center our kids are in. You take care. Goodbye. It's no surprise they're up to no good. That moment when we called the animal shelter our kids are volunteering at and heard Andrew's voice on the line, we knew they lied to us. Why on earth would our kids manipulate 20 teens to form the new generation of the international terrors? One generation of that gang is enough. I agree. Now, let's get a move on and go deal with our kids. You said it, dear. All right, Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, this is your cell. Just be lucky you're in juvie instead of adult prison. All of you international terrorists need to stop terrorizing people and targeting cities like ours. First, it's Kylie and Ashley. Now, it's your four. This is not fair. Let us out. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Now, you'll spend five months here. During your time here, you'll be attending some counseling and rehabilitation programs to address your rebellious behavior. 
In addition, you'll also be attending classes to catch up on your schoolwork while in juvie. All of us here don't want to do schoolwork. Well, too bad. It's mandatory that all the juveniles here have to receive some form of schooling during their time here. I can't look at you for any longer. I shall get back to my office at the police station. And by the way, your parents are here to speak to you. Oh no, we're in so much trouble. No shit, Sherlock. Kelsey. Violet. Wilson. Melanie. Samantha. Wilson. Summer. Lee. Wilson. Callum. Reese. Wilson. Uh-oh. Mom and Dad called us by our full names. Looks like it's game over for us. It's game over for you four, big time. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum, what the hell is wrong with you? You have done a lot of horrible acts in the past, but this one might take the cake. You lied to us about volunteering at an animal shelter and asked the Beckerman triplets to give you makeovers in order for you to recruit 20 teens to form the next generation of the international terrors. Then, you and those 20 teens got revenge on Oliver and Amber's parents by kidnapping them, forcing them to take Oliver and Amber back into their families, giving them makeovers when they refused, and manipulating them to think Mr. and Mrs. Zhang set them up. On Monday, Mr. and Mrs. Cologne and Mr. Griffiths told Mr. and Mrs. Zhang they have 48 hours to leave the country or else they'll get beaten up by them the same way Oliver and Amber beat up William and Aluna. Thanks to you, you have put the Zhangs in danger because those 48 hours have passed. Now we have to stop them before it's too late. And word has it that Oliver and Amber requested that you and the new gang get revenge on their parents. Why on earth did you have to accept that request? All your gang does is get revenge on your enemies and those that get you in trouble. You should know that revenge isn't the answer. And we're not done yet. Throughout the days, you and that new gang caused mayhem in this city. Today, you were plotting to give the Llewellyn Academy community the ultimate nightmare by bullying and beating up the Llewellyn Academy students, headmistress, and deputy headmaster with spiked bats. Oh yeah, and how did we learn that Andrew, Allison, and Victoria are involved in this? Well, one day, we called the animal shelter to check up on you and funny enough, we heard Andrew's voice on the line. So, we'll be sure to let Andrew, Allison, and Victoria's parents know they were involved in this plan. We can't believe you got the Beckerman triplets involved in this. We can't describe how disappointed we are in you four, especially you, Kelsey and Melanie. Kelsey, you're the eldest child in the family and you're supposed to be a positive role model for your younger siblings, especially Summer and Callum. But no, you decided to be a troublemaker and have Melanie, Summer, and Callum learn from you. As for you Melanie, you are as much of a troublemaker as Kelsey. In fact, you follow so closely to her footsteps that you don't even have the brains to know what's right and what's wrong. Finally, Summer and Callum. You two are the youngest in the family and even though we have a bit of sympathy towards you, you should know better than to pick up Kelsey and Melanie's troublemaking habits. We really hope you four will listen to us and improve your behaviors because this is getting out of hand and we're already sick and tired of having to deal with the police. Now, your mother and I need to go and make things right. Use your time in juvie to really reflect on your actions and we'll see you when you get released. Please really think about it because all of us in the world are sick of your gang's actions. I can't believe it's game over for us. And why did mom and dad have some sympathy towards Summer and Callum? Yeah. Why them? At least be glad we're in juvie instead of adult prison. Screw Ingrid, Peter, Peggy, Joy, Jane, Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and Alda. They did this to us. Once we get out, we'll get our revenge on them. You said it, sister. Oh my freaking god, are you for real? Andrew, Allison, and Victoria were involved in your kids' crazy plan. Thank you for telling me, Gregory. My wife and I will go deal with our triplets. Take care and goodbye. All right Sam. Let's go get that bottle of truth serum that we got from the potion shop, 
pour some of it into three soda cans, and give them to Andrew, Allison, and Victoria. I knew those three were up to something fishy, especially after seeing a purchase of four makeup machines and beauty supplies on our credit card bill. Yeah. Anyway, let's get the sodas ready for the triplets. Thank you for the sodas, Mom and Dad. We really appreciate you giving us those tasty sodas. Thanks Mom and Dad, for giving me, Allison, and Andrew a refreshing can of soda. You're welcome Andrew, Allison, and Victoria. Now, we have a question for you. You do? Ask away. Did you three in any way get involved with the Wilson Quartet's crazy plan? The answer is yes. We gave the Wilson Quartet makeovers so that they will be unrecognizable when they go to West Alyssa Beach for their mission to recruit 20 Llewellyn Academy students to form the new generation of the International Terrors. We used your credit cards to buy beauty supplies to give the Wilson Quartet makeovers and four makeup machines for the Wilson Quartet to turn back into their original appearances. Finally, we helped them fool their parents into thinking they're volunteering at an animal shelter. We did that by giving them our phone numbers and have them tell their parents that the animal shelter can be reached via those numbers. We used a voice changer app to make it sound like we're employees at the animal shelter. Uh, mom and dad, why are you smiling like that? Congratulations you three, you have confessed that you took part in the Wilson Quartet's crazy plan. What did you two do? Your father and I poured some truth serum into your soda cans. This truth serum will make you speak the truth even if you don't want to. We got this idea to use the truth serum from two TV shows. In the Ant Farm episode Pants on Fire, China Parks accidentally consumed Dixon Ticonderoga's truth serum that made her speak the truth and eventually, she got herself in trouble with her friend, Olive Doyle. In the iCarly revival episode, I Go to Toledo, Spencer Shea consumed some lube juice, which is a drink that Lubert Slime made. Spencer said it's like a truth serum because it made him say that he wanted to wear a pink jumpsuit, just like the women in the episode. That's not fair that you made us tell you that we were involved in the Wilson Quartet's plan to recruit 20 Llewellyn Academy teens to become the new generation of the international terrors. And what's not fair is that you agreed to get involved in the Wilson Quartet's crazy plan and use our credit cards without our permission. We knew you three were up to something after we saw the credit card bill. This is not acceptable, Andrew, Allison, and Victoria. You need to know that the international terrors are a bad influence on you. We hope in the future, you will change for the better and leave the international terrors. Now, it's time for you three to get grounded. Sam, please do the honors. Gladly, Germaine. Andrew Charles Beckerman, Allison Diana Beckerman, and Victoria Elizabeth Beckerman, you three will be grounded for five months which is the same amount of time Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are in Jibby. You're lucky that we didn't raise our voices this time and that you didn't commit any acts of violence with the Wilson Quartet. Go to your rooms, right now. To hell with you, Mom and Dad. Come on Allison and Victoria, let's get away from our stupid parents. You said it bro. I can't believe Andrew had the audacity to say that to us. I have no words to describe what just happened. So Gregory and Monica, let us get the facts straight. You're saying that your kids have manipulated 20 Llewellyn Academy teens to become the new generation of the international terrors. Oliver and Amber told your kids and the 20 teens to get revenge on us by having them give us wine bottles with an ingredient that knocks us out instantly. After we got knocked out, they kidnapped us, forced us to take Oliver and Amber back into our families and gave us makeovers after we refused to take them back. They then proceeded to manipulate us to think Theo and Haley Jong set us up for disaster. And then we told them they have 48 hours for them and their family to leave the country or else we'll beat them up the same way Oliver and Amber beat up William and Alana. And Noah and I grounded Olivia, Amelia and William for invalid reasons. Gregory and Monica, is that all true? Yes Noah, Charlotte, and Austin. It's all true. The police and the heroes who stopped our kids told us everything. Peggy, one of the heroes, let us listen to a recording of our kids confessing everything they did. On top of that, 
Oliver and Amber requested our kids and the now disbanded new generation of the international terrors to do all that to you just because you disowned them. Oh no! What have we done? Thanks to those kids of yours, we heard the Zens, Olivia, Amelia, and William. And it's no surprise that Oliver and Amber would request your kids and the now disbanded new generation of the international terrors to do all that to us. Oliver and Amber will never accept the fact that we disowned them for the right reasons. It's not too late to fix this. It's a good thing we came by just in time because by now, you'll be heading to the Zhangs to beat up Theo and Haley. First, you apologize to Olivia, Amelia, and William. Then, go to the Zhangs and apologize to Theo and Haley. Okay, we'll do that. Thank you, Gregory and Monica, for telling us everything. You're very welcome. Now, Gregory and I will head home. Take care you guys. You take care as well, Gregory and Monica. Well guys, let's go and make things right. Since Olivia, Amelia, and William are out for a walk, let's wait for them. I hope Mom, Dad, and Mr. Griffiths are around because Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum's parents told us what happened. Oh Mom, Dad, and Mr. Griffiths. Good timing. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum's parents told us what happened. We saw them leave our house and they stopped to tell us what the Wilson Quartet did to you guys. In regards to that, we want to apologize for how we acted towards you three. It was wrong for me and your mom to ground you three for the wrong reasons. I'm sorry for yelling at you, Olivia and Amelia. To you three, your father and I are sorry for grounding you for the wrong reasons. I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive us and we understand if you can't forgive us right away. Aunt Charlotte, Noah, and Austin, to be honest, we completely understand what you went through. We know you wouldn't all of a sudden become mean-spirited on your own. It's a shocker that the Wilson Quartet, along with the now disbanded new generation of the international terrors, tormented you and manipulated you to hate Mr. and Mrs. Zhang. It's no surprise that Oliver and Amber would request them to do all that to you as revenge for you disowning them. So Mom, Dad, and Mr. Griffiths, after hearing what the Wilson Quartet's parents told us and seeing how sincerely sorry you are, we accept your apology. Since it's a thing in the past, we'll forget about what happened and move on from there. Wow, thank you Olivia, Amelia, and William for accepting our apology. That really meant a lot to us. You're the best kids your father and I could ever have, Amelia and William. Olivia, you're the best niece I could ever ask for. Olivia, Amelia, and William, you kids are such sweet angels and we're grateful that you're in our lives. You're very welcome. I'm glad everything worked out for the best. I'm glad all the mayhem the Wilson Quartet has done is over. Yeah. Now, we have to go over to the Zans and apologize to Mr. and Mrs. Zan. Olivia, you're in charge while we're out. Okay, Aunt Charlotte. I'll make sure William and Amelia are well looked after. Good. Come on, Noah and Austin, let's go over to the Zangs. Austin, Charlotte, and Noah, you look sad. Is everything okay? Theo and Haley, we've come here to apologize for what we did to you on Monday. The reason for our behaviors was that the Wilson Quartet kidnapped us, forced us to take Oliver and Amber back, and since we refused to take them back, we got makeovers. Not to mention, they also manipulated us to think you set us up. The Wilson Quartet didn't do this alone. They had some help from the new generation of the international terrors. By the way, word has it they're back to normal and that gang is no more. So, what we're trying to say is, we're sorry for being so racist and xenophobic to you and putting you guys in danger. Moving forward, we'll be careful with who we interact with because you never know if they intend to manipulate people to do bad things. Gregory and Monica Wilson told us everything and honestly, we felt bad for what we did to you. Oh dear. Noah, Charlotte, and Austin, please don't cry. We completely understand what you went through and for the years we known each other, you would never be racist and xenophobic like Oliver and Amber. We're sorry that you were manipulated by both the Wilson Quartet and the now disbanded new generation of the international terrors. Regarding what happened, we'll work together to forget about it and move on from there. I'm happy that Gregory and Monica told you everything. And since you apologized sincerely and are willing to make things right, we're willing to forgive you. Oh. 
Thank you so much, Theo and Haley. It really means a lot to us. And thank you for forgiving us. You're very welcome, Noah, Charlotte, and Austin. Haley and I are looking forward to working together to rebuild our relationship with you guys. Say, how about all five of us go to the Lotus Garden restaurant for some delicious Chinese food? Haley, that's a great idea. I'm in the mood for some Chinese food. How about you, Noah and Charlotte? I'm definitely in the mood for some delicious Chinese food. You two are taking us out to have some Chinese food. That's a wonderful idea, Theo and Haley. I am glad you three are loving the idea. So, let's all get a move on and head to the Lotus Garden restaurant. Connor and Rachel, well done for stopping the Wilson Quartet and the new generation of the international terrors from pursuing their evil plans to bring the ultimate nightmare to the Llewellyn Academy community. On top of that, you managed to turn all 20 members of the new generation of the international terrors back to normal. Connor and Rachel, your father and I are so proud of you. We're glad that you and your team came up with a brilliant plan to not only stop the Wilson Quartet and turn the 20 teens back to normal, but also get the quartet to confess everything they did. Thanks mom and dad. I'm glad that Rachel and I took part in that mission. And the best part was that our team stopped the Wilson Quartet just in time before they and the now disbanded new generation of the international terrors brutally hit the Llewellyn Academy community with spiked bats. So, as a reward for your heroic actions, we decided that we'll be taking a vacation to Orlando. The places we'll visit will be up to you. Wow, a vacation to Orlando. I've always wanted to go there. Thanks mom and dad. Orlando is one of my favorite cities in the USA and I'm excited that we'll be taking a trip there. Thank you mom and dad for making this possible. You're very welcome Connor and Rachel. Now, we shall start planning for our vacation to Orlando. Baroka and Alta, we are so elated that you too, along with your team, were brave to stop the Wilson Quartet and the new generation of the international terrors from giving the Llewellyn Academy community the ultimate nightmare. You guys also turned all the members of the new generation of the international terrors back to normal. Thanks to the efforts of you and your team, peace was once again restored in West Alice Beach. I hope the Wilson Quartet will really learn from their actions while they're in juvie. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Baraka and I were so glad that you were part of an amazing team. We all worked together to achieve what we got and that is peace restored in West Alisa Beach, the Wilson Quartet in Juvie, and all the members of the new generation of the international terrors back to their original personalities. From the day they taunted and assaulted us, Connor and Rachel for simply being from different countries to their crazy plan to recruit 20 teens to become the new generation of the international terrors, it seems like the Wilson Quartet will never learn from their mistakes. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum have caused lots of mayhem in the past. Hopefully one day, they'll realize the errors of their ways and improve themselves. As a reward for your heroic actions, your mother and I will take you on a trip to a destination of your choice. Well, I like the sound of that. Olda and I have always been wanting to go to Singapore. So, how about we go to Singapore? Singapore sounds perfect. Baraka and I have been wanting to go for years. A trip to Singapore sounds splendid. Okay everyone, we shall get to work and plan our trip to Singapore. Well Peter and Peggy, Joy and I are pleased with how successful the mission was. I agree with Jane. I'm pleased that all nine of us worked together to end the chaos in West Alyssa Beach. I hope Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum learn from this experience. They should understand the consequences of the international terrorists' actions. Indeed. Not only is it wrong to be racist, xenophobic, and anti-LGBTQ, but it's also wrong to manipulate people into doing dangerous and evil things. All right, guys. Let's start enjoying our delicious cups of coffee. Afterwards, we'll continue our celebration and go to a fancy restaurant.
Ingrid, your father and I couldn't be more proud of you. You and your team were brave to stop the Wilson Quartet and turn all 20 members of the new generation of the international terrors back to normal. Best of all, your sister is back to her non-troublemaking personality. Ingrid, I'm grateful that you and your team stopped the Wilson Quartet and turned me and 19 of my classmates back to normal. You're the best big sister ever. Thank you. Mom, Dad, and Melissa. I couldn't stand by and watch my sister cause chaos with her classmates and the Wilson Quartet. Ingrid, I'm glad you did it because you love and cared about your sister. You and Melissa are the best daughters we could ever ask for. And moving forward, I'll be more careful with who I interact with and become friends with people who have good intentions. I'm pleased to hear that, Melissa. Now, how about we go to the movies and watch Inside Out 2? That's a great idea, Mom. I loved watching the first Inside Out movie and I have high hopes that the second one will be as great as the first one. It's settled. Come on everyone, let's go to the movies and watch Inside Out 2. Well, it looks like I'll not be able to see Callum for five months since he and his siblings are in juvie. And I'll not be able to see Summer for the same reasons. Kelsey, Melanie, Summer, and Callum are extremely lucky to end up in juvie instead of adult prison. I hope the five months will go by quickly, so that I can hang out with my lovely girlfriend, Summer. I also want the five months to go by so that I can hang out with my sweet boyfriend, Callum. Imagine Landon and Clint's reaction to this. They would be way more mad about this than us. I agree with that, Sam. I don't think Landon and Clint would accept the fact that the Wilson Quartet is in juvie. What the hell is wrong with this world? Why do all our gang's plans always end up with bad results? It's all thanks to that no good Ingrid. How were we supposed to know her sister was one of the teens who became part of the new generation of the international terrors? Not only did Ingrid ruin this, but also Baraka, Alder, Connor, Rachel, and four people from the Dynamics Fellows. The Dynamics Fellows who were involved in this are Peter, Peggy, Joy, and Jane. Screw Lofty, Sienna, Carson, Zihan, and Ichun for ruining Carly and Ashley's plans. Screw Ingrid, Peter, Peggy, Joy, Jane, Connor, Rachel, Baraka, and Alda for ruining the Wilson Quartet's plans. You know what else is worse? The Wilson Quartet get to go to juvie and stay there for five months. Meanwhile, we are in adult prison for life without parole. Can't our lives get any worse? Oh you crybabies, learn to deal with the consequences. Crying about it won't get you out of the life sentence you're in. Oh shut up, Officer Bell. Yeah, shut up Officer Bell. We don't want you and your team to make our lives more miserable. Hey Sims Animation fam. I know there's a lot that happened. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the second Llewellyn Academy special. I want to remind you to be careful with who you interact with. Not everyone has good intentions. In addition, choose your friends wisely. A good friend appreciates and values you for all the unique qualities that make you, you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more content from me. Don't forget to leave any comments, suggestions, and questions you have down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.